Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and I hope that you can hear me today because the wind is just now starting to pick up. I just wanted to get outside and do a quick little video today and give you a full one month update on how I did on my alternate day fasting for the month of September challenge. Uh, this month, you may know we were in a couple of different challenges. I was doing a weight loss challenge as well as an alternate day fasting challenge. And I just want to give you an overview of my thoughts and experiences with each and let you know what the total weight loss was and what my results were. But before we get into that, I want to put a little clip in here of my daughter's experience because she was doing the alternate day fasting challenge with me and I think you'll want to hear how her experience went. All right, Ariel, so I have a couple of questions for you. So real quick, tell me your experience and what you thought of alternate day fasting for the month of September. Okay, well, I want to first start off by saying that I did not know if I was honestly going to make it through the whole month of the ADF challenge because I've never done anything like this before. Um, but for me personally, I thought that ADF was hard the first week, but it got easier every week after that. So I believe in ADF because after a whole month of doing it, I lost a total of 10.4 pounds. And so I think it's something that you can do long term it's sustainable if you can just get past the first two weeks um and i think honestly i might keep doing adf long term at least until i go back to work or just in the future i might just keep up with it um because i like the results <laughs> exactly they are nice, <laughs> they are nice. I can never so, say that i've lost 10 pounds that fast before right and whole one whole month so for the last three days of the month we decided to do something insanely crazy and do our first 72 hour challenge of fasting mm -hmm. water fasting at that yes. <laughs> so what did you think about that that experience i honestly thought i was going to cave i didn't think i was going to make it the full 72 hours i thought between days two and three i was going to be like i can't do this mom i'm going to cave i need to eat give me some food um but i actually made it the whole 72 hours and it was easier than i thought i actually didn't have major cravings like i thought i would um i didn't even have any like my stomach wasn't upset at all um and i did drink nothing but water i didn't even add lemon to my water and normally that's my favorite thing to do is to add lemon have some lemon water um but yeah the three days went by fairly easy for me um i think i might do that maybe once or twice a year just for the cleansing and the health benefits but it's not something i would do all the time i'm with you on that friend yeah <laughs> okay i like food i'm a foodie <laughs> <laughs> she's like her mother mm -hmm. <laughs> well thanks for letting me do this short interview with you thank you for having me. bye bye so as you can see, she did really, really well. I was really pleased with her results. She is so happy, so thrilled, and it's something she does, she wants to keep on doing. And hopefully she will be able to succeed and get some more pounds off because that's what this is really all about. For me, I had a lot of the same experiences as she just described. Um, the first week was the toughest. Um, the second and third days of full fasting were the toughest for me for the whole month. That's when I seemed to feel my worst, have the headaches, feel a little sluggish. Um, we did do the Elements um, electrolytes throughout the month, and maybe that's part of why the rest of the month went so much better, or just that our fasting muscles were getting stronger. And each week seemed to be easier and easier and less of a struggle cravings weren't that bad at all because we ate what we wanted on the following day. So weeks two and three just sort of flew by and this past week did the same thing. Um, we alternate day fasting went very well. Like she said, we did do a 72 hour fast for the last three days of September, which ended on a Friday. And then Saturday, I jumped right into another challenge. So that's why I'm wanting to get this video up today um, to wrap out the month of September to let y'all know how things really went and how the weight loss was. So Ariel, as she said, lost over 10 pounds. For me, when I started the month, September, I'm gonna put a screenshot in here of all my weights each day that I did. Now, I'm not going off of September 1st weight, and I'm gonna tell you why, because the day before was, an, we had to eat out, of course, at my favorite restaurant. Y'all know I love Mexican food. And every time I eat Mexican food, my weight goes up three or four pounds. And then it's water weight, and then it comes off. So on the night before the first, the 31st, we had eaten at Gringo's. 
And of course, my first weight was two or three pounds way more than what it had been for the last day, few days leading up to it. So I'm going off of my September 2nd weight, which is what I gave to Derek for my Derek Sterney weigh-in. September 2nd was our weigh-in day. So my starting weight was 181.6. And that is the weight that I use for this month for the challenge for everything, 181.6. So as you can see on the screenshot, each day, how my weight went up and down, the eat day one day, fast day the next. Average, I got between 40 and 44 hours of fasting in each fast day. So it was a, a good fast. On our fast days, we did do water. I did unsweet tea and the black coffee, which I'm not huge on black coffee, so I didn't do it very much, but I did a lot of unsweet tea. I actually grew to really like unsweet tea this month, which is something I've never done in the past. <laughs> so, as you can see, the weight loss came down, it trended down over the month. I ended the month at 171.8 after that 72 hour fast, losing a total of 9.8 pounds for the month of September. Totally, totally happy with that. ADF is something I could see myself doing. Um, it is something that is more sustainable than I thought it would be, honestly, because I'm just, I've gotten used to fasting now and it just seems normal, not eating every day or eating only one meal a day. Any kind of intermittent fasting, alternative day fasting, it's just become a lifestyle now for me. And I don't even think twice about it. Today's a fast day and it's okay, I'm all right. I've already got my unsweet tea and I'm good to go. So the more you do it, the more you work at it, the easier it becomes. The hardest part really is that first week or so. It truly is a mind game. Your mind starts messing with you. It seemed like every time you turn the TV on or even social media, there's something always around food. And as most of you know who's followed me, I lost my mother-in-law this past month. And while we were doing this challenge, it seemed like every time we went around the family, it was a fast day. <laughs> so everybody's eating and we're trying to fast. It can be difficult at times when you are trying to fast with a busy lifestyle. Not gonna lie, it's not the easiest. But as time goes on, as each week passed, my fasting muscle, as I'm calling it, got stronger and stronger. And it was easy for me to just say, no, it's okay, I'm fasting today and not eat that pizza or not crave and you know have some drinks with friends. Now, that I just saved for my eating day. <laughs> I did not cut out any foods. I still enjoyed every single thing that I love to eat and drink. I had my margaritas every now and then I had a glass of wine. So it's not that you have to cut everything out. It's just like Jen Stevens said in her first book, delay, don't deny. I love that title. And I think about it all the time, especially when I'm fasting and then I'm like, I want that. Mm, I'm just gonna delay it a little bit. I'm not denying myself, I'm gonna have it, but I'll have it in a few hours or tomorrow. So that has been like my mantra this past month. Delay, don't deny, I love it. <laughs> Something else that I do each month is I have been taking my measurements. So I'm gonna pop in my beginning measurements for September and my ending measurements on the 30th of September, what they were. I lost a total of one inch in my chest, one and a half inches in my waist, one inch in my hips, and the biggest one of all, I started measuring my belly button area and three and a half inches in my belly button area. That was the most noticeable of all, was in that area around my stomach. Not my waistline, a little lower, three and a half inches. That right there is where I carry most of my weight in my belly. It's my carb baby is what I call it. So the alternate day fasting really helps shrink that stomach down so you don't look as bloated. I'm gonna insert a picture here of a side-by-side. -side. I can't tell a whole lot, maybe a little bit um, of my stomach going down, but it's nowhere near what it was. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> So my overall thoughts are this. If you wanna try alternate day fasting and you've been doing intermittent fasting for a while, absolutely try it. If you haven't, I would suggest doing two meals a day down to one meal a day and then go to alternate day fasting. 
definitely have electrolytes. You don't have to use elements. You can just put some salt in your water if that's what you want to do. But the elements, I'm telling you, I loved, loved, loved the watermelon. That was like my favorite um, element of all was watermelon, then raspberry, and the citrus. Out of all those that we tried this month, watermelon was my favorite, and then the raspberry. Join an alternate day fasting group. I also did that. That helps out. It's something I could go into on Facebook and see and commu uh, communicate with other people that are going through the same things I am, or just look at their stories, the success stories, or their struggles. Those things just help me get through the day sometimes. Just knowing there's other people out there in the community doing the same thing you're doing was a big help for me. If you're one of those that cannot weigh every day, that is okay. I can do it, it doesn't affect me, but I know there's some people out there that really, really, it messes with their mind. It's okay, but take measurements, even if it's just when you start and when you stop for the month or however long you wanna do this. Definitely take measurements. I'm so glad I started doing that. I wish I had done the belly button area and other parts of my body more when I started this back in January, but I was just doing the waist, the um, bust, and the hips when I first started. Who knows how many total inches I've lost on my body, off of my body since January. So definitely take measurements. Another big tip. And I guess for my last tip, it would be just like I said earlier, delay, don't deny. Just use that, think about that. You're just delaying what you really want, whether it be a few hours or a day. We can all do that. We can all wait till tomorrow to have that bowl of ice cream or that glass of wine or whatever it is you want delay, don't deny. And that has been the biggest part of this that I have loved because I am still eating everything I want to eat. Last night, yesterday was a feed day and we went to my niece's birthday party and I had brownie. Three small pieces of brownie, but I had them. I didn't feel bad about it. Now, did I feel bad after I ate them? Not guilt bad, but I was stuffed. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I eat that last piece of brownie? You know, that's the way I do though. I end up stuffing myself most of the time, but I did not deny myself those brownies. They were there and I wanted them. I ate them. <laughs> Delay, don't deny. <laughs> I just love that little saying. So guys, this is how my first full month of ADF went. Am I going to continue this? I don't know. Um, I may, I may not. My thought process is yes, I did lose quite a bit of weight this month. I know the 72 hour fast had a, a little bit of a help in that. Um, as far as the alternate day fasting goes, I can say, I believe it will work. Totally believe it will work. But I think I was probably doing just about the same without the 72 hour fast in there as I was on my one meal a day. So I may just go back to my one meal a day and continue that because I truly love that. I enjoy eating. Y'all know I love to eat. So I look forward to eating at least one time a day. So I may just go back to my one meal a day because the weight loss is still about the same, I think, as what I was doing with alternate day fasting. Let's just be honest. Alternate day fasting is much more difficult than eating once a day. It really is. And if I'm going to get the same results as one meal a day or alternate day fasting, why not eat every day? just my thoughts. <laughs> I like to eat. I can't lie. <laughs> so it may be something I do again in the future, um, but I like my one meal a day. I've really come to enjoy having a feed time each day and eating just who I am. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I hope you all are doing well. And sorry if it was a little windy and distracting. I was wanting something different today, but it's so beautiful outside. I've already cleaned out a flower bed and just been working outside and doing a few things. I thought I'll just go ahead and shoot a short video out front here, but the wind keeps picking up and dying down. So it may not, it may, it may not come out as good as I think it was in my head. <laughs> but anyways, I want to get this up for you today. So y'all know how my full month of ADF went. And then tomorrow I will check in with you guys on my weekly. There's the train. So tomorrow I will check in with you guys on my regular weekly check-in on my weight loss for this week and let you know if and how much rebound weight I had after I stopped alternate day fasting. 
So until tomorrow, guys, I hope y'all all have a great weekend and I will see y'all later. Bye.